everyone, it's Miss Shear, um, and welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, um, welcome. And if you are a repeat offender, thank you so much for supporting me. It's really appreciated. Um, today we're going to be doing another page in the Daphne's Diary Glue Book. Um, and I'm going to be using uh, number six. Um, right now, I have number seven. And number eight uh, was released, I think, like three weeks ago. Um, and I, I still haven't received it. I'm in Canada, Halifax. Um, so I do expect it any time now. Um, and I'm, I'm imagining that there's some Christmas stuff in there um, that maybe I can do a couple spreads um, for December. And, but for today, I'm going to go back to number six. And in number six, we had these little bookmarks. Um, which I thought were really cute. I haven't quite decided what's going to happen, but I'm going to go away. I'm going to do some fussy cutting, um, and then I'll be back. Okay, everyone, so I've gone away. I've done some cutting, and I'm ready to uh, put the page in. So I've just been flipping through, trying to think where I might like it to go. We've done some really nice projects. If you haven't been following me, um, these are all in a playlist for, for Daphne's diary. Um, I love this little passport we put together. I still think that's so cute. Um, so, so yeah, so we've done quite a few things. Um, I'm thinking that we'll, I'll put it right here on the back of this one. So I've taken my little template that I make out of vellum uh, and I went along I did accidentally cut a hole in it uh, I went along with the magazine and you see here I pulled out <clears throat> those pieces that I was thinking about um, the bookmark page but there was another page opposite to this one which was just um, like a glossy I don't have it, I don't think. Uh, it was just a glossy one of these pages uh, that had, I think I cut it all up. Uh, it was this page and it had all kinds of this stuff on it. So it had all that, like so. And I took the page I mean, something like that and then she was here so instead of using that bookmark page I actually cut her out and I put her on a uh, 110 pound cardstock and put some foam tape on because I wanted to elevate her a bit off the page um, and then I took my little template and I kind of placed it around thinking uh, what kind of background and then I cut some pieces out that I knew I didn't want um, and I was really liking this, thinking, well, maybe I could put her somehow with that in the background. And then, as things happen, I just opened this old poster. And I can't remember which issue this came from, maybe issue three or something. Um, and I laid down my template, and I kind of liked the upper corner, um, but... It, not quite, but I wanted this butterfly. So I cut that out and I cut out some other flowers from the poster and then I laid my template around and I liked this background. Um, the only thing was it had this butterfly at the top and if I cut it to fit the page, I was going to cut off the butterfly or the bee. Sorry, I got butterfly on the brain. Uh, the B. So what I decided to do was just cut the edge to size, but cut out the little B. And then I cut this edge a little bit so that I could layer that on top and you would hardly know that that B wasn't initially right there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter because I can see a little white edge there. It's 6 30 in the morning. It's Wednesday, November the 
29th and I can feel my spirits lifting already. It's less like literally a weight has been coming off me. My birthday's this weekend, so that's always kind of nice. And Christmas is coming. So I've been focusing on, on that. Um, okay, so I'm going to get that down. I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, Fabri-Tac um, on, on the background. Fa Fabri-Tac is good glue to use because it's a silicone base. And in general, it will not warp your pages. Um, I use Elmer's glue a lot for stuff. I find it cheap and cheerful. I use the Stronghold. There is a difference between that and just the normal school glue. And the difference is the amount of water in it. So the more water in a glue, the more um, it's going to affect the paper and make it warp. But uh, Fabri-Tac and uh, Two-in-One by Beacon uh, don't have water. They're, they're silicone base. They're solvent base. They are a little bit quite a bit more expensive, but that's the price we pay when we're crafters, I guess. Okay, so got that down. I can trim around the edge. I was going to say later, but I'll trim it now. Alrighty. So then I want to get this little guy down. He's so cute, the little bee guy. My mother used to send, when I lived in the UK, she used to send me cards and little letters and stuff, and she'd always write, be happy, B-E-E, -E, happy, and often send me something with a little B on it. It was our little thing. Okay, so we got that down. So then I wanted to get my lady down my little lady fox and in that poster I cut out the butterfly and I propped him up on put him on the 110 pound cardstock and pop, popped him up on a foamy and then I cut out some of these uh, flowers which I think I lost one on the floor it's typical so I can't see it here oh here it is Okay, so then I thought that I would collage some of these little flowers into the background behind her. And I have, and then she can kind of sit on top of those flowers. Let's get a little arrangement going here because I want to see the centers. It's kind of thinking something like that. So she's going to go here and then we'll put maybe those like that because I want to get a little quote in there too. So something like, oh gosh, she's so sweet. Something like that. So I'm going to leave her there and we'll get the daisy down first. I don't have to actually use this. I'll just use my Elmer's glue. <clears throat> We had a little bit of dust in the snow last night. I looked out and uh, there was a little on the on the on the front porch and the the car. Let's put that there. But we can expect it. When I was younger, it always snowed. My birthday is December third. It always snowed on my birthday, even if it didn't snow any other time. My mother said you can guarantee it'll snow on. Your birthday, I said, I know. Something like that? Does that look all right? Because then we've got a little cluster there. We've got her, which is in the butterfly coming out of the page a bit. I think I'm happy with that. So we'll get that tacked down. So I may not get um, a video out every Friday leading up to Christmas. It's really busy for me right now, and in the lot in eight days, I've this is my only day off, so I've got to get groceries today and do a few errands. I have a couple things going out um, to some of my friends that I've met here on the channel. I've been trying to get a little something 
out the last couple of weeks, but it's just been hard to get in the craft room and, and get some things going. So there are a few surprises going out. Um, if you want to give me your address um, for a future spontaneous mail out, then my email is mishcrafty, M-I-C-H, C-R-A-F-T-Y-8664 at gmail.com. I will leave it in the description below. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram. I, don't, I haven't been doing a lot on this Instagram. Um, I, in the new year, I do want to um, kind of do more. But in two, 2023, my goal was just to start doing some videos. And I had initially said to myself, I've been trying to do this channel for a couple of years. And I was afraid and I was a bit anxious about talking and and what if people said mean things and whatever. And then I just said this year, that's my only goal. I don't really like to set resolutions as such, but kind of goals. And I thought, well, I want to start doing something on YouTube. So I did. And I'm really happy I did because I've been talking to you guys and I don't know, it just helps get you through sometimes the, the tough times just to know other people. It's not nice to know other people are suffering, but the support that we can give each other, I think is, is great. So thank you so much for that. Um, but so 2023 or 2024, I want to do more with my Instagram, but my Instagram is just mishcrafty the same as my, um, the same as my, the YouTube one. Sorry, talking and thinking at the same time. Um, so I want to do a little, I always like to put a little gem or something on my butterflies. Um, I have this little butterfly too. It's just a little metallic one. I put it in one of my things before, but I'm not really sure if that, could, maybe if we could put it in her basket, like there's a little butterfly sitting on um, one of those, one of the little flowers there. I hope that lighting's good. I've had to put on the overhead light today because it's, it's not, the sun's not quite up yet. Um, it's 714 and sometimes because we're a little bit north, if it's a overcast day, it's almost like the sun's not c come up. And when I was younger, I really minded it. But you know, I've bought some of these I don't know if you can really see that, but I think I will put that there. Oh, that's kind of on her hand, maybe right there. Um, I bought these little uh, fairy lights that have a USB and they're on a little strand. Um, and I've put them up through the house and that has made such a big difference because I love the little fa fairy lights. They make me happy. Um, I think they remind me of Christmas, but I have them up all year long. But when when I was younger, we lived in the country. We lived in a little town called Mount Uniac, which is, oh, about 40 minutes from here. And um, it was dark at nighttime, like pitch dark. So the only time the house was kind of lighted up when I was at nighttime, when I was sleeping was Christmas time, because we used to have a lot of outdoor lights around the house and the yard and stuff. So there was always this lovely little glow in the bedroom. And Sometimes I wake up and, or I, you know, I'm sitting in the living room in the evening and I have the little lights on and it just, maybe it's that feeling. It just makes me happy. Um, so I think that kind of helps when the days get a lot shorter. The days actually stay the same. It's the daylight I'm reminded of by certain people. Um, but, but yeah, so I think that's made a big difference. I still, I think these, you know, I always go back to these ones. They're Spellbinders Gold Mix uh, Color Gem Essentials. And they just seem to go with everything. Um, so I'm going to just put one in there. I get talking too much and then I get distracted. And I keep thinking, Shay, of your uh, American Pie I was actually listening to it this morning. It's one of my all-time favorite songs. What if you're if you're watching and want to participate? What's some of your favorite songs? Let me know. Um, okay, so I think that we're coming to. Oh, isn't she so sweet? 
And then you got the little gems. It, it's hard to pick up on camera, but when they move a certain way, you've got that extra element. So then I was looking through my art by Mar Marlene, some of my little quotes, and I was thinking, what what do I want this to remind me of? And when I look at it, I just think the word breathe. But um, but some of the sayings that I was considering uh, was, I must keep, I must have flowers always and always, because I just love flowers. And it seems like she's stopping to smell the, the flowers. So I thought that that was kind of nice. Um, and maybe it would remind me when I'm looking through my book, if I'm feeling not too great to to do something around flowers. Um, I kind of thought, uh, was this one of the ones? Give yourself time because sometimes that's what we need. And that's what I needed to do through November was just give myself time, time to just do what I needed to, to, to do to kind of get through the month. Um, and that helps, uh, sometimes. And then, uh, just breathe. I like that one. Just breathe. So let's see what might go better in the collage. So if I put just breathe, I could put just breathe. And that's kind of what she's doing, breathing. And to me, when I first looked at the layout, that's what I kind of thought about was breathing. Just that uh, sigh and stop and smell the roses. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this one. Um, so I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to cut it in half. And then I think I'll put it, no, I don't want to go, yeah, I'm going to put it, and I'm going to put it a little bit at an angle, because sometimes if you don't think you're going to get it exactly straight, it's best not to even try. But I like how that looks. Just breathe. So that's our spread for today. I'm so glad that you stopped by, um, and that you keep stopping by. My channel is building, and, and it's so lovely to see. Um, so I will be back before Christmas. That's a guarantee, but I'm just not sure if it's going to be next Friday. Um, I'm working a lot. I've just worked a lot. Like I said, I've got one day off and eight, um, but um, I've got some extra shifts coming up too before Christmas. And then of course it's all the Christmas stuff that you need to get done. So if I'm not here next week, I will be back before Christmas. So let's have a little look. We just go dum de dum dum dum. Oh, and that looks uh, just the kind of purples and the I like I like where that's sitting. So yeah, um, so thanks so much. If you did like this, give me a like um, and subscribe. I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but until next time, I hope you stay well and happy. Um, and bye for now.